Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcoming you to the very first episode, the premiere episode, of Kirby's Epic Yarn. That's right, my special 1,000 subscriber so Let's Play hello. begins now. So say hello to Kirby and this guy, I think his name is Prince Fluff. I really couldn't tell you though, I haven't played this game in so freaking long. Alright, so, no nice music here to greet us, that, but that's okay, because the actual title screen will have nice music to greet us. Uh, so, really quick, I'd just like to say thank you everyone so much for getting me into a thousand subscribers. I have no words that can, that can adequately express my gratitude towards all of you. Just like... I never thought I would make it this far this fast. Like, I'm not gonna say I never thought I would make it this far, because honestly, I did. Like, with all the probability and everything, I was bound to make it this far eventually. I just didn't think it would happen so quickly. It's like, this is just crazy, man. So, thank you all for that, and here is my gift to you for doing all that. So, I guess we just jump right into it here. Let's go to one player and. There is my practice file, I guess you could call it that, but it's not really, because I haven't played that for actually like a few months now, not since, I think the end of November was the last time I touched that, which was, you know, long time ago, of course. <laughs> yeah, a few months is really a long time. But I actually haven't finished the game either, as you can tell there. Um, I've gotten a long ways into it, but... The final part of this game is actually going to be blind because I don't I don't want to like spoil it for myself. I actually kind of like the thought of having the finale actually experiencing it at the same time as you. At wow, I said a lot of s's there. At the same time as you guy, at, what am I saying? At the same time as you. Why do I keep saying yous? At the same time as you guys. There was that so hard. Okay, stop talking like a hillbilly now, like diabetes. Okay, so, um, yeah, and everything that I've actually played, too, is probably going to be semi-blind, because I'm not going to remember all of it, obviously. So, just be aware of that. I'm not going to be perfect at this game. I didn't think any of you expected that. Let's get into it. And are you ready to listen to the most awesome narrator voice ever? Oh, yeah, I can't wait for this. This is going to be awesome. Great. Welcome to Dreamland, a kingdom famous for peace and quiet. <laughs> oh, seriously. If you this like guy's voice is just too hilarious. There have been rumors, rumors of a caped sorcerer, sorcerer going around, turning people, turning people into, into yarn. yarn. That's, that's right. right, yarn. They just have to emphasize that. It's like, that's right, yarn. Because it's such a ridiculous a concept that no one would ever believe it. Mmm, tomato. There could be nothing possibly wrong with that, right? So let's just nom nom that tomato right down. Hey, oh, pfft. well, aren't you ugly? Okay. Hey, what are you doing? Doing what I do best, sucking. Okay. And he gulps down the magic metamato. What the hell um, is a metamato? I have no idea. Just play on the word tomato, obviously. Okay. Oh. Now your dirty laundry is sucking me up. Thanks. And ooh. Well, this isn't very dirty. This is actually really pretty. I like it. Grass feels funny, Kirby thought. Hmm. It feels like pants. <laughs> Just the way like even like more than that line, it feels like pants. Just the way the narrator says pants there. He's like pants. It's like dude, just get over it. <laughs> Tried to oh, the monster up. narrator, and your failed attempt at voice acting. Right through his body. Oh, no. What he should do. Hmm, what should we do? I know, let's turn into a car. Suddenly, yes. <laughs> turn into, into a, a car, car made out of yarn. He drove away with the boy. Ain't it always the way? I don't know what that monster is supposed Apparently, to be. Like, I can't even begin car. to think and what it looks like. What else? Kind of looks like a bear, but not really. And then it's like a well, narwhal or something. I'm, I'm going to call it a narwhal. Even though it has nothing to do with the water, it looks like a narwhal to me. Okay, and back to normal Kirby. Thanks for saving me. What's that? You say you're from another world? Wow, welcome to Patchland. You just stick with me and I'll show you the ropes. 
All right, cool. Let's learn the ropes from this guy. Hmm. And apparently, we're gonna learn the ropes in here. Patch Castle. This is my castle, so feel free to look around here as much as you want. Well, I thank you. Thank you for the free invitation to your house. But you know, you should never trust anyone by letting them into your house that easily. Not even Kirby, seemingly innocent. Because you just know that he that he's going to steal all your treasure, right? I mean, I'm just warning you now. Kirby's really shifty that way. All right, so welcome to the first level of Kirby's epic yarn. Wow, I stuttered there. Who knows why? But, yep. This is basically what the game looks like. And I, can, I have to say that it does not disappoint at all. Like, just look at this. Like, fabric and yarn and buttons and all sorts of stuff. Seams. This is just great. They executed this perfectly, in my opinion. Like, the gameplay and the graphics and everything goes perfectly. This is just amazing. And I can't even imagine how they would come up with this. It's like they're sitting in the conference room one day trying to brainstorm ideas for games. And they're like, how about we make a game based around yarn? And everyone's just like, hell yeah, bro. And just for the hell of it, let's put Kirby in that to increase like production value and sales and stuff. And then everyone's just like, yeah, that's a perfect idea. All right. And then, and then what, what will we do from there? Let's make a game about Samus and stuff. I don't know. What am I talking about? Yeah, see? Kirby's stealing the chandelier from inside your castle. You shouldn't have let him in. Oh, Kirby. You and your crazy shenanigans. Right, so now let's jump behind the background. Yup. <laughs> oh, well, actually, it's more behind the fo- It's- Now, the background has become the foreground. But there's also another background behind the foreground, which is the background of the- that's now the background. So there's like a double entendre of the background foreground thing here. D that didn't make sense. What am I doing? I'm playing Kirby's Epic Yarn. That's what I'm doing. Oh, this is lovely. And just drive up like a car. Okay, there's nothing there. So, oh, this is one of the more fun aspects of the game. You can like pull a button like that and it scrunches up the fabric. And that's kind of cool because that's actually what would happen in real life. It's pretty awesome. Alright. And as you can see there at the top of the screen, there's like this weird meter thing. What is it doing? Is it trying to kill me? No. It's not going to like come down and kill you slowly and painfully. It's just there to measure how many beads you have. And it'll give you a medal when you reach a certain amount of beads. There's bronze, silver, and gold. If you're going for 100% in this game, you want to get gold medals in every level. Like, there's no reason not to. I mean, really. Okay, and there's the music file for this castle. Cool. Now we can listen to that anytime we want without even having to go to this level. How convenient. And here is the end of the level. It's really that simple. That's Kirby game for you. But believe me, this game gets a lot... Oh, what the... <laughs> How cute. Oh, I think that's probably the cutest that the victory dance in Kirby has ever been. Like, it's always been amazing and adorable and just irresistibly awesome. But that one, I think, is... They perfected it. Okay. Yeah, so this game gets a lot harder later on. So that's what I was trying to say, I think. Something like that. Not that I needed it. I don't know. Not that I needed it, you cocky asshole. Yin-Yarn the Sorcerer right. Patchland into seven Yin -yarn? That's a stupid name. Can't go anywhere without running into these horrible... Without running into these horrible... I still have no idea what he was gonna say there. Okay, ew! Oh my god, no! Don't eat him! Yeah, bounce him all over your tongue, all slobbery. He looks really happy, though. He's having fun. Oh my god! <laughs> did, did, why did they have, like, dramatic music there? It's like, holy crap, Kirby's an anvil. Da da da! Magic yarn. That's it. That's the magic hmm. yarn, Fluff exclaimed. Fluff. This was what Prince Fluff had been looking for. Really? Well, what does it do? Let's see. Sold the magic yarn from Patchland. That can't be good. And it's gonna form like a musical staff kind of thing here. 
which strings the world together. It's like the love in our world, because you know love strings the whole world together. The yarn but here it's, it's yarn, magic yarn. And stitch two pieces of patch land Ah together. yes, two of the seven pieces are stitched back together pieces? now. I've what about the other the pieces? Oh, well, let's just go kill more blob monsters. Kirby, Maybe they'll hold the rest of the awesome magic yarn that we need. Oh, sadly, it, that is not the case. Not by a long shot. Okay. So we're gonna have to go on one epic, pun intended, adventure, in order to claim all the pieces of the magic yarn so we can put this world back in full circle. And that's basically the premise of the game. There you go. And I don't know what happens when that you do that. You probably go back to Dreamland or something. I don't know. All right, but here is the edge of the world, basically. Can I fall off of it? Oh my god, Kirby! Wow. Just like balancing on tiptoe at the edge of the world. Kirby, don't fall and die. You're gonna die. Ah. Okay, no you're not. I would never let that happen to Kirby. Mm, never let him fall in a pit. Even if falling in a pit in this game doesn't kill you. Yeah, that act it actually doesn't kill you. I'm not kidding. It's ridiculous. Prince Fluff, what an unexpected surprise. Oh, and who might your friend here be? Lord Kirby, you say? He is visiting us from another world, you say? Wow. Way to repeat, you say. My name is Dom Wool, and it is my pleasure to make your acquaintance. Likewise, douche. Lord Kirby is, is helping you to save our beloved Patchland? Oh, that's just wonderful. I am the manager of Quilty Court here. Please come inside for a moment. I insist. Alright then. That's cool. Let's go to Apartment 101. We're going to learn about apartments. Great. Uh, I don't know why the loading screen just randomly freezes sometimes. Like, that's not like video lag or anything. That's actually happening on my TV, too. Welcome to your new home. <laughs> well, I suppose it's not much to look at just yet. I, but I would be honored to have one of Prince Fluff's guests staying here. Yay! And, oh, pff. Ow. Yes, yeah, like, welcome home. Here's a chair to drop on your head. A proper home must be properly furnished. Please accept this as a gift from me. Feel free to furnish your new place in whatever way you desire. We'll discuss the rent later. Great. Can't wait to pay the rent. Yeah, that's a great part of a Kirby game. Go ahead and enjoy the space. If you have any questions, I'll be around. <laughs> You'll be around? To... What, like, what, what questions would I possibly have to ask? Like, like, look, just look at the screen right now. Any questions? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, let's just leave. We'll do, that's a kind of like a side quest minigame that's not really important at all. Is that Kirby's pad there? Uh... I'll probably show that off in a bonus episode or something at some point. Wow, that guy was getting pissed off. I don't know why. Hey, where'd he go? I thought he would be around to ask questions. Dude, I have a question. How do I open my window? No! Damn it, he disappeared. Oh, well. Alright, so there's nothing much we can do around here. Um, I guess we could head into Patch Plaza, but that's basically just... I'll show it quickly, I guess. It's nothing too special. Hmm. Alright, so here's Pla Patch Plaza, basically. Each of these is a certain percentage of things. Here's like flicks, which is uh, cutscenes, and tunes, metals, fabric, stuff. Wait, stuff? What? Wow. That's certainly a lot of stuff that we're gonna have to collect. Look at this. Look at all this. Oh my god. <laughs> well, it's a longer. Long -erm? No, it's a long game, indeed. And, and there's Cass, there's Angie. What? Loves to exp We haven't seen this thing before, what the hell? I think that's actually the thing that saves you if you fall into a hole. Okay, Waddle Dee drops so. Spear Waddle Dee. Okay, whatever. So basically, that's like the enemy list and stuff. I might show that off later. Who knows? Uh, what are time are we at right now? Like 14 minutes, 40 second ish. Yeah, I'm probably going to end off the first episode here, or soon, anyways. I guess we'll head to the grassland just to see what this is all about. And A for area info. Oh, cool, let's read about the history of this area. 
or just get a zoomed out look of it. Okay. Oh my goodness. What? That's not area info. That's just like I could I could get the same info by just like doing this. Like plus it's it's more fun. It's more interactive. Hey, another edge of the world. Don't fall off. All right. So, I guess that's going to be it for this episode. Um not much got, got accomplished unfortunately, but I had some fun. I mean, just playing this game in itself is fun and I hope it's fun to watch. I'm not too sure. But in the next episode, we're going to actually get started with some real levels, because the first one was more of a tutorial than anything. And that's going to be it. Thanks everyone for watching, and until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, damn it, and good night.